My name is Eric Jimenez. I'm 31 years old. Um, Mexican American, gay male, and I'm a massage therapist and DJ. My name is Billy Gill. I'm 32. I am a Cuban American gay man, and I am a writer and DJ and musician. I was raised very conservative Christian. I went to a Baptist church and then into a non-denominational church growing up. Um, very, very strict home. We didn't celebrate Halloween. We didn't celebrate anything that was not of Christ. <laughs> um, so that was hard growing up. Feeling, feeling, you know, that I was different. I was always the black sheep in my family. <laughs> I was always like the goofball. Um, but, I mean, my parents are still the same way. They haven't changed at all. And I don't talk to them like I used to. I mean, I haven't talked to them in maybe a couple months. Um, so, we, we don't really have much of a relationship anymore. Well, I mean, they see me as living a lifestyle of sin that I chose. That's what they tell me all the time, so. So, so I can't really connect. I don't know, I feel like I don't have parents anymore because <laughs> I don't talk to them. I don't have a relationship anymore, so. His parents took me in. His parents loved me. So. I didn't come out until I was about 25. Um, and I wasn't out even to myself in college. Uh, I, it wasn't until I left California, basically. I went away to Chicago for grad school, and then it just sort of happened. Um, and there I had, uh, my uncle was also gay, and even him, I couldn't come out to him for the longest time, but it definitely helped having him there. I knew that he supported me. Um, and so eventually I was able to come out to him and come out to my parents. Uh, at that time I was in a relationship and it was kind of like, it had been a couple of years and it was sort of like, this has to happen. My parents told me that they they knew, that, <laughs> that they sort of had always known. And, you know, most for the most part I was relieved and uh, happy that they knew and that they'd always, you know, loved me. And, treated me respectfully for the most part. There's a difference, I guess, between knowing and realizing, and also um, you look around and you don't necessarily see people who are like you, you know. I remember <laughs> going to San Francisco as like a teenager or like a, you know, young adult and just not really getting like what a uh, gay lifestyle was like as if there was only one. I wasn't exposed, honestly, I was very sheltered. And to me, seeing queer life, I just didn't see people who were like me, I didn't encounter them, and so I didn't know, it didn't seem like that was me, it, it seemed like I was something else, and uh, even coming out, I felt definitely like different than most queer people. It wasn't until I think I moved to Washington, D.C., um, I met some people who were kind of like me, uh, <laughs> not stereotypical. Not, I guess not stereotypical, and it's like, it's one of those, like, I wasn't, didn't feel like I w was judging that as much as I felt like I didn't encounter anyone who was like me, so I felt like, well, maybe I'm not gay, maybe I'm not queer, maybe I'm something else, and mm -hmm. I didn't really, it was hard to sort of come out when it's like, you don't really even know what you are because you don't. Can't see it. You can't, you don't see other people who are like you, so uh, I guess. The, this new bar, well this bar reopened, a little, it used to be called Little Cave, now it's La Cordita, and there seemed like there was kind of an opening there, and so Eric uh, emailed them and I just... Was, I was very persistent. <laughs> yeah. And they, they almost didn't give it to us. The manager was like, no, sorry. And then a new manager took over, and then she was like, she understood what we were trying to do at having a queer night in Highland Park, it doesn't mean that you have to, you know, play dance music and 
play something that you might hear in like, you know, a West Hollywood club, which is like, there's nothing wrong with that, but I guess it goes back to what we were saying about not really feeling like you fit in with whatever the stereotypical like gay thing was. And so I guess playing the kind of music that we like here, we found a really positive response to that. Um, definitely the bar, that's totally their vibe. They love it. Hola, 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 hola.